So how long were you stationed at your uh, 42 Alpha company? Uh, I want to say three or four months. But three or four months before you got picked up into the gold program? Yeah, three or four months into the gold program. Sorry, I know that was a really long way to tangent. No, there. no, was, no. Uh, three or four months into the gold program. It was nice. Um, my unit my unit was cool. Um, again, not going to name drop it because I talked bad on them earlier, but great <laughs> unit. Um, first sergeant was really cool. I get there. The first drill, they're like, we need to do – we're doing ACFTs. You have one on record. Would you like to do one again? I was like, nope. And they were like, okay. <laughs> That's awesome. That's that's the kind of you I want to be assigned to. Uh, do you guys want to do it? Nah, I'm good. I'm yeah, good. I'm a, yeah, I already have it on record. What are you gonna do? And uh, let's not waste time here. <laughs> and then, like the next day, they were like, "All right, we're doing an MRE." And I was like, "Cool." I did you either? Did you do on ramp? Mm -mm. Uh, okay, on ramp is what gets you into the military, right? It, or gets you like stationed into your home unit. They give you your patches and stuff, and. Uh, on ramp is different for a lot of units. Mine was up in Norman. It was a cool time. Um, they do and on ramp again is done differently depending on the unit, but generally it's an MRE to make sure that you're fine, right? Uh, so I do my MRE there. The next month I go to my unit. They're like, "You're doing? We're doing an MRE?" And my unit and I was like, "I just did an MRE at on ramp." And they're like, "Cool, forty two alphas are running the MRE shop." Mm -hmm. So. You're running it now. And I was like, okay, fine, whatever. And then I just got thrown into the fire. It was nice. It was nice. Uh, I got to do my job really, really, really fast. You know, learned a lot about it. Um, and then uh, then I got picked up by the gold program. And, uh, you know. Why don't you explain to the – so let's assume that the folks listening are laymen. What is the gold program? It's a good thing I've rehearsed this recruiting uh, thing before. <laughs> the Guard Officer Leadership Development Program is a program initiated by Wait, are their... you telling me gold is an acronym it is an acronym <laughs> <laughs> it's not just because you get a butter bar after oh my gosh <laughs> yeah the guard officer leadership development program is a program that was initiated by the recruiting forces across multiple states in the midwest the purpose of it is to enrich and strengthen the minds of future officer candidates as they go into the world of OCS and prepare them in order to become leaders for the greatest fighting force in America. Did I say all the things? That sounded like you said all the things to me. So right. it's a pre pre OCS kind of essentially. Uh, I don't know. I joked with my sergeant, Sergeant first class Gonzalez that uh, going to OCS was doing the gold program on baby mode uh, because like, uh, it depends on your on your gold program, but the RSU gold program, uh, at least for the first few months of uh, OCS, is kind of just what you're doing in the gold program the first the first day you're there, and you drill once a week in the gold program. Every Wednesday you drill, so um, it's sharpening your mind the entire time. The custom and courtesies, all of that is just like sharpening your mind. By the time you get to pre OCS, like you've done this for like two years now. I had been doing it for about a year and a half. And so, like, that's why it was all sharp in my mind. That's why it was ready, ready to go. And I get there, and I'm like, oh, this is kind of disappointing. Because, like, I get there, and none of the people in pre-OCS are doing any of that. And, like, yeah. the only people that are doing it are Gold Program Tax, who yeah. already know me. Uh, so that was fun. Uh, I don't know. And then I get there, and Sergeant First Class Clark is, like, looking at my hair. Oh, yeah, I had blonde hair back then. Oh, yeah. my God. That was... A fun time. Do you guys remember that? No. I do. Oh, oh, Corey, were you not there for that? Drill? I came yeah, in March. My drill, first drill yeah. was March. Right after, like, it was the first weekend after I got back. I was like, I don't even get a break. Like, I come back from basic and I'm in pre OCS. Like the next weekend. Uh, it was February, I believe. January, February, can't, February. Yeah, it's definitely February because I was still drilling with the gold program in January of last year. Was that last year? God, time flies. Uh, it. Anyways, uh. I uh, had in regulation, arguably in regulation blonde hair, arguably. Uh, at least I was able to argue it to a captain at the gold program who was like, that's what the regulation says. I was. <laughs> it so, was bleach. It was like hair. It was <laughs> it was frosted tips, basically. Uh, he looked like Ken from the bars. <laughs> ah, you were Knuff, weren't you? I was Knuff before Knuff was a thing. <laughs> Where it was a thing. My God. So you were the proto Knuff. <laughs> yeah. Ryan Gosling needs to pay me. That's right. Uh, yeah. So uh, the backstory to the blonde hair. Um, 
my uh I was wanting to do my hair blonde uh, for a while, um, but uh, I didn't really have a good time to do it right. And uh, my uh, my friend Ponce, uh, who is in the gold program, uh, really nice guy, um, really like high speed. He was an aviation's uh, guy. I think he's he's in pre OCS right now. Um, he's the guy with spiky hair. He's a cool dude, cool dude. Okay. He was like he came up to me and was like, "Hey man." I know you dyed your hair a lot when you were in high school. How do you do it? And I was like, uh, great question. You want us to find out? And he was like, yeah, sure. And so we all dyed our hair blonde into regulation hair colors. Uh, again, debatably regulation hair colors. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and then uh, we all went off to uh, New York for, uh, for a week. Um, this isn't really related to the story. I just, I would just, uh, I spent last, uh, two Christmas ago in New York with my brother. It was a great time. Okay. Yeah. And then uh, I kind of forgot about the armor for a while. I get to pre OCS. I'm like, all right, I better shave my hair to get it in, in regs. And so I shave, I buzz the sides, right? So that way it's like, it's basically an overcut, right? Mm -hmm. And I have like blonde that's like about this length, a little bit shorter, right? Uh, and this, this guy, Sergeant First Class Clark, who, Sergeant First Class Clark has known me for a while. Uh, he and I were never never saw eye to eye on things very often. Uh, he to to explain him, he once screamed at me while I was in the front lane rest, is your head attached to your body because you're that dumb. So that's the kind of uh, relationship I have with Sergeant First Class Clark. We're cool, you know. Uh, we're cool. Great guy. Yeah, great guy. Nice man. Uh, good banter back and forth, you know. I'll uh, bet. Sounds like it. Yeah. The front leaning rest. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, you know, I was cracking jokes. So, you know, it all it all works out. You know, uh, he comes up to me or, well, we're doing another MRE because for whatever reason, every army space wants to do MREs like every five minutes. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're doing an MRE uh, for like your pre, you're like going to OCS physical, right? Mm -hmm. um, and he is doing height and weight. And as I'm walking by, starting first class, uh, Clark looks at me and he goes, we're going to have a talk after this. And I was like, <laughs> and like I probably said the wrong thing when I said about what <laughs> <laughs> sergeant officer candidate Babbitt about what <laughs> so I was just like walking along you know because like I was just you know messing around I thought it was funny you know and like the issue is I know he thought it was funny too because like I, I know that look in his, in his face when he's trying not to laugh right <laughs> so uh First Lieutenant Stozier, uh, another great guy uh, who I've been I've known for like two years at this point is like talking. Captain Stozier now, right? Yeah, Captain Captain Stozier, but at the time First Lieutenant Stozier, great guy, nice guy. He uh, is like, you've been talked to about your hair, right? And I was like, yes, sir. It's in regulations. And he was like, can you show me the regulations? And I was like, sure. Uh, let me pull out my phone, and because you know pre OCS, you have your phone on you. Uh, are you supposed to have your phone on you in pre OCS? I have no idea. It's a la you're allowed to have it. You're not allowed to have it you know, on where it's going to make noise. Yeah. That's uh, the rule. Anyways, uh, uh, first attendant server is like, all right, get the phone out, get 617-1. And the specific regulation for AR 617-1 is, I don't want to say the wrong regulation, but I believe it's 3-2 subparagraph B. I memorized this in case I needed to ever get this out. Uh, <laughs> hair can be dyed so long as it fades naturally and isn't fattish. And I, as I say the word faddish, Sergeant First Class Clark comes up, takes my phone from me, zooms in, and is like, faddish. <laughs> this is faddish. <laughs> and I was like, I was like. Define fat. <laughs> I, I was like, Sergeant Officer Candy Babbitt, that's your prerogative on that. And I was like, uh, and like, I was convincing Ka uh, First Lieutenant Stoger, I believe, right? Uh, because I even was like, listen, this captain whose name I'm not going to drop because I don't know if he's in the military right now anymore. He was a bad dude. He not that important to, to anything. Just, I'm not going to say the name of that captain <laughs> for reasons. It was because of the, uh, the hairstyle. Yeah, That's yeah. why they kicked him out. <laughs> he was, he, he went to a unit and his hair was just purple. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, that's not it. But, uh, <laughs> he was saying too many things were in, weren't fads. <laughs> Uh, so he's, uh, I was like, yeah, this captain said it was fine. And he was like, okay, I'll text him. And you know, I was like, cool, whatever. And Sergeant was like, he goes on this rant 
for like 30 to 45, like 45, like 30, 45 seconds, maybe like three minutes just straight of him just screaming, right? Like top of his lungs screaming. And you, do you, have you ever met Sergeant First Class Clark? No. Again, short man, which makes it scarier somehow. You know what I mean? <laughs> just like, I don't, I don't know. He's got something to prove. When yeah. He <laughs> yeah. 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 Uh, I don't know. Again, like the guy, scary dude, right? Uh, he's just screaming and screaming, and I don't remember most of what he says because when people scream at you like that, they do not—they don't want to learn. They don't want you to learn anything. They just want you to stop doing what you're doing, right? Mm -hmm. And so I listened to the first sentence where he was like, "This is faddish," right? And then I listened to the last sentence where he was like, "You're what's wrong with the enlisted corps," and I was like, "Man, I should have paid attention a little bit." <laughs> <laughs> and then I was like, "That's your perspective, Sergeant." <laughs> God. How are you not dead? Right? Uh, and he's like, "You'll fix that by next drill, right?" And I was like, "Sure, sure Sergeant." Okay. And, and then, and this was all in the pre OCS. Yeah, program. pre OCS. First drill. First, first time there. Uh, first time there. The annoying thing was is that there was a chief right next to uh, Ka uh, First Lieutenant Sozier who had, like, bright highlights in her hair. And I was like, man, how is that not? What? what? Yeah. It's the same thing. Hers, she's just a girl. Yeah. This is sexism. <laughs> I didn't want to. I wasn't going to play that card, yeah, but that's how it felt in my don't heart. Don't into the bus. She's probably sitting there going, my hair. <laughs> <laughs> no, she's sitting there going, I'm a chief. They're not going to say anything to me. <laughs> so...